Hi, my name is Sun and I'm from India. I came here, uh, I came here uh, in June 26, 2014 and it's almost two years now. Hi, my name is Madonna. I'm grade 11 student in Dakota. I came here from Ethiopia on April 19, 2014. When I came here, the first thing that I noticed here was like calling teachers by their last names and it was very different in India because over here whenever the teacher used to come to our classrooms we all used to stand up and uh, wish their good mornings or good, good afternoon and, uh, and when the bell rings the teacher had to leave the classroom not the students it was very different in there so that was the first thing I noticed and I was uh, calling the teacher by their uh, like I was calling the teacher by like man can you help me with this and then the teacher was not listening I thought that am I not speaking loud enough but I was speaking loud enough but then my partner told me that uh, I had to speak I had to call her by the last name so I when I called her by the last name so I was like are you trying to okay are you trying to kick me out of the classroom? And she was like, no, we call it by the last name. I'm like, okay. So, yeah. And the other thing I uh, noticed was the lockers. When I first came here, I didn't know how to use the lockers because we never had lockers in our countries. So it was very hard for me. Like, I tried to open it and every time in the hallways, I used to uh, uh, like search for the people to help me out. But then, uh, in one minute, it was very hard to find the people and to learn like you only get one minute time difference to you know like uh, get your stuff out and open the locker so it was hard for me. Um, my biggest challenge here coming to Canada was speaking English. Even though I had some uh, English background, uh, back home we learned in English but not all people there speak English. Uh, so when I came here it was really hard to understand what people talk like say even like the main things like the main the most important parts of things I really ignored them because I didn't know what they were saying I just noted yes or no when they asked me questions and even like the national anthem I thought it was in French because for Canada has like, two kind like two languages and I was I thought it was in French since I didn't understand how that English and uh, learning in EL classroom helped me a lot to improve my uh, speaking and listening and also writing and reading skills in English um, and it also helped me in other subjects so that I could understand others. Uh, in addition to that, in EL class we learned also the Canadian culture and how to socialize and I had I made lots of friends there so yeah. When I come here, I couldn't speak English at all, and then I couldn't understand. So, please speak slowly, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a host family, and then they are very kind, but sometimes I couldn't understand, and then I'm so sad. This experience is everything, it's a challenge for me. I was worried about everything, like new friends, new family, new places. So, but now I really want to go back here to go to university because everyone is very nice. My name is Yulia and uh, I'm from Ukraine and I'm grade 9. I think that attending an EL class is important because it helps you with your English and it differs some from the regular English class and uh, it's designed for students who just came to Canada and learn English from scratch or just improve learning English and it's important to improve English to be able to communicate with other people, with Canadian people. Yeah. Когда я переехала в Канаду, я э, очень скучаю по своей стране, но я желаю вам добра и мира, и неважно, где вы находитесь, любите свою родную страну. I'm Angela Villegas, I'm from the Philippines, and I'm grade 12. For me, there is... I think I don't have any advice to the teachers, because I think they're doing very well to to teach the students and... Where did you get them? <laughs> oh, I saw... There you go.
Hi, my name is Taylor. I'm from China and I'm in grade 10 in Dakota Collegiate. I think uh, attending the EAL class is very important for our newcomers in Canada. Because from the EAL class, we can learn many things new, like we can meet different different from different friends from different countries, and we can learn English, we can learn grammars, we can we can practice our speaking skills. And uh, I think in EAL class, we can the most important thing, the most exciting thing for us, I think, is going out to to have a field trip and and do many uh, games in the classroom. That's what we like. I think they can, when they came here, they can um, get more friends. They, they should be brave to speak English. Do not to, afraid to speak English, because speaking is important. You can do communicate with others. My name is Diana. I came from Ukraine. I'm in grade 10. I've been in Canada for five years. It was kind of fun. They're preparing you. They're preparing us uh, to a life, I think, in the future. It helps you to learn English. And it, if you're a newcomer and you don't know any English, it's a great opportunity to you to attend that class to learn English as your second and third language. I've never seen a diamond in the flesh. Got my date on my wrist in a movies and I'm not proud of my dress. Wow, hello guys, my name is Timmy and I'm here to talk about my experience in Canada. Oh, Dakota has been a wonderful uh, wait I said Dakota, sorry, Canada has been a wonderful experience for me. Well actually the first challenge for me is the weather because the weather is like oh my god. It's like extreme cold and everything. But it's actually good because EAL is actually um, a class that helps new students like learn new English and be good in whatever they're doing. They help them, the teachers help them, the teachers help encourage them to like, you know, be good in English and be ready to prepare for whatever comes their way. So I think, yeah, it's actually a good experience for me. Uh, so. My name is Yubin, and Y-O-U-B-I-N, and I'm grade 10. I'm from Korea. Uh, don't be scared, don't be shy, <laughs> and just challenge me. 만약 한국인이 이 영상을 보고 있으면 무서워하지 말고 외국인 친구들에게 말 걸고 도전해 주시기 바랍니다. 감사합니다. Yeah. What is your biggest challenge coming to Canada? Um, nothing. <laughs> nothing? <laughs> My name is Kyle Maxwell. I've been in Canada for about three months now. It, it, um, it gives me an opportunity to achieve my career. Um, I want to have a law degree and become a Formula One race car driver. Wow. My name is Nasira Jado. I'm from Nigeria and I'm in grade nine. In the schools in Nigeria, it's like they don't have like lots of technologies and stuff that that makes learning easier, and they have lots of that here. So that's fun. I guess don't be shy. Talk to people, and you can make new friends if you talk to people. Yes, it's important because uh, other than the English language, you learn to make friends and you have fun and also you know a lot about the Canada. You learn a lot about Canada and the culture and stuff like that, so it's good. EAL class helps you like adapt to the country. Take EAL as like a fun group thing, pro like, a fun like community as a, like rather than like taking it as a serious class. First of all, you get in credits for it, and second of all, it's like fun and you can make friends. And if you're new, like you can know a lot of people, and you can learn other cultures. So join EAL. <laughs>